Good morning, everyone. It's Rose Coleman coming to you live from my craft room here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Got my coffee. <laughs> I am ready to get started on this super cute fun fold. Let me share with you. I think I was talking to you guys um, earlier this week about what I did last week. Last weekend, I participated in Rhonda's online creative convention, and it was so much fun to um, be a part of that and to be able to be in my craft room and be inspired by all the stuff that they shared. Videos, PDFs, um, sketches, there was mystery stamping. Oh my gosh, I haven't even got through all the material, but it's, it is available a lifetime, on a, for a lifetime or as long as te the Teachable website is available. So that's a part of my membership with, um, with Rhonda Wade's uh, Creating Success Group. So I'm super excited. Um, one of the things that I wanted to play around, play with was um, the mystery stamping challenge with Erica Serwin. And I don't know if you guys know her. She's a top demonstrator in the U.S. and I just love Erica's style. Um, her blog is Pink Buckaroo. Hi, Kathy. Hello, everyone. Hi, Krista. Um, hi, Cindy. Hello, hello. Hi, Joy. Good morning. Good morning, Judy from sunny Australia. <laughs> Good morning. Um, so I really love Erica's style and she's very easy to follow and um, yeah so I uh, today I'm going to share my mystery stamping challenge with you guys that Erica shared with us so I like mystery stamping challenges I love all kinds of stamping challenges because as I mentioned to you I think it was yesterday the card is your own right hi Marie from Sundry hello Maria from Puerto Rico Wow <laughs> everybody's joining from all over thank you guys um, so the mystery stamping challenge is truly your own, right? You can just take it and use whatever supplies you have at home and chances are your card will be one of a kind. So I love that. I love doing my own thing. Uh, <laughs> hi, TJ. Good morning. Um, I love doing my own thing and coming up with my own card and hopefully having the confidence that this was an original creation, you know, um, inspired by a sketch. So, uh, Post in the comments. I'd like to know what you get inspired by. Do you get inspired by the catalog? Do you go searching for blog sketches or um, card sketches or designs? Um, yay, is Jen Jen here? I didn't see her pop on. Hello, Jen Jen Jen. Jen Jen is my good friend. She loves to pop in here and um, help me out. <laughs> I didn't ask her to do that, but she just does this, you guys, out of the kindness of her heart. She comes and often po she'll post like um, item codes for you guys to help you out. She's definitely, um, oh, thank you, TJ. You guys, you inspire me as well. You do. <laughs> um, she, but uh, yes, my friend Jen does that. She, she does that out of the kindness of her heart. She comes and shares with me and um, helps me out. I met Jen online. Okay. Online. This is, I call her another COVID silver lining of mine. <laughs> she joined my uh, technique club and my scrapbook club when COVID hit and I couldn't do per in-person classes. Uh, I started to pivot. I did. I pivoted my business and I had to go online and here I am and I do my uh, virtual uh, clubs and she's a part of that. So she is definitely um, a huge silver lining that COVID has brought to my life. So thank you, Jen, for all you do for me. All right. Good luck today. Sell, sell, sell. Oh, I missed something. Does someone, oh, the market. Okay. So somebody who's going to a market, is it Debbie? Debbie's going to a market. Good luck, Debbie, at your market today. I hope it goes well for you. Okay, so today we're going to flip the, the camera. We're going to make our Fun Fold Friday card with um, the Tricks and Treats bundles. This, the, the Tricks and Treat bundle. Now, this is not my last project with this one by a long shot. I have had so much fun playing with this one all week. And the more I play with it, the more I can see things that I want to do with it. Are you guys the same? Once you start playing with your stuff, do you get inspired and motivated and you just want to keep creating? Um... I always say it's so sad when someone says, oh, I bought that stuff and I put it in a bag in my closet and I haven't opened it. I'm like, oh my gosh, that breaks my heart. Get your stuff out. Start playing with it. Even if you don't have a clue what to do, just to put the stamps on the, on the blocks and start playing. Good things come when you just allow yourself to be creative and just stamp on the paper. And I guarantee you, you will not get up from your desk and say, oh, I don't like this. You will have fun. You always have fun. I guarantee it. Um, 
I always do. <laughs> so I just wanted to share that. Just put your stamps together on a block and grab some ink and have fun. Stamps, ink, and paper is really all we need, right? To have a successful stamping experience. Okay, let's flip the camera. The card is a mystery stamping with Erica that I got last week from Online Creative Convention. I'll share with you the fun graphic. There's always some fun graphics that they give us to go along with, and you have to come up with your own card. So here is my card that I came up with. Here we go, you guys. I'm going to flip you around. Bear with me. I'll flip my camera. There we go. Okay, so here is the graphic you guys want to see. Look, they put the little mystery uh, detective. <laughs> so cute because Erica has blonde hair, right? So this is her mystery stamping challenge. And I'm going to play with it today with the Tricks and Treats bundles. So we have um, bringing our dies here. We got all these amazing dies. And you can do the treat bag. I haven't even done that yet um, this week. So I've just been focusing on cards. And there's little tags. Look at that. They give you a double little set of small tags, which is super cute to put on the bag. Um, you get the cute ghost. You get everything else you need. These little dies right here. Now, we're making a card today, not a treat bag. But I just want to talk about this. These dies here, they're for the holes. Okay? So you can use the bigger ones or the little ones, depending on what you're stringing through your bag for handles. So if I were to use this one and the treat bag die like this i would put it right here and it would cut two holes and then you can actually cut through two pieces at a time so if you're using designer series paper you could put this on and then you'll have two holes on the front and two holes on the back and then you can string your ribbon feed your ribbon through um, the holes and if you wanted something a little smaller for twine they've given us a different a smaller size as well so isn't that fun you get everything you need in this amazing amazing bundle okay the stamps are uh, amazing as well. Here we've got, um, the. in case you haven't seen this one yet, <laughs> it's called Tricks and Treats. The stamps are photopolymers. It's a two-step stamp with the faces in the backgrounds. Love it. You've got stars and bats and tombstones and, oh my gosh, a haunted house. So we're going to have some fun today. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is let's do some stamping first and some die cutting. So I've got two pieces of scrap white here. I'm going to bring in the stamp for the haunted house, and I'm going to bring in the pieces for my Dracula face here. So this is Dracula over here. So for the haunted house, I'm going to stamp the haunted house in Cajun craze. <sighs> I'm missing some of your comments. <laughs> I want to stay and just talk to you guys and find out what you're doing. I often do what comes to my mind. I look to the look at the paper and cardstock, have in front of me, get to create. Yes, yes. Use your supplies. And Stampin' Up! makes that so easy for us, right? They give us all the coordinating paper with colors of cardstock, and then they throw in ribbon and embellishments that match. Like, how can you? You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. Okay, so there's my haunted house in Cajun Craze. Got that done. Now we're gonna do the little Dracula face. For the Dracula face, we're gonna bring in Petal Pink for the skin color. And we're going to grab a piece of scrap paper and stamp off. So I'm just gonna tap, tap on my Petal Pink. Stamp off once on my scrap grid paper. And then let's turn it this way. Then we're just gonna stamp on my paper and we just get that light skin tone you could go with the darker if you wanted to if you wanted a darker skin tone but i kind of wanted the lighter one because sometimes dracula has a bit of a pale skin right so you don't want him to be too pinky <laughs> so we're going to leave him like that and then this stamps here these stamps there's two of them there's like the the hair the forehead or the you know the hairline and then you've got the eyes nose and mouth here so we're just going to tap that on the mento and we're going to, let's put the lid on my ink pad. We're going to put this on top up here like that. And there's our Dracula. Easy peasy, right? So fun. So fun to line up two-step stamps. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my dies and we're going to cut these out. So we've got um, our little haunted house right here. And we've got our Dracula face. And we're going to put that on here like that. I'm going to grab a little bit of washi tape. And we're going to stick this down so that it does not move because you don't want it to move after you've done all your stamping. You want to make sure everything stays straight. All right. So that's our two dies, our two stamps and our die cut, die, our dies. And we're going to die cut now. Oh, gosh. 
put my coffee off to the side so I don't bump it over. So this, these will fit in your um, mini boss, right? So I'm going to grab my Boho Blue. The Boho Blue Mini is still available, you guys. I was uh, looking around. Sorry, just reaching for it. Just reaching for my machine. I was looking around on the website and I saw it. It's in the um, online exclusives. It's still available. It's, it was it was a limited time offer, and I thought, ooh, it's still. I was surprised to see that you can still get it. I don't know if it's low inventory or not, but if you like it, you should grab it. Okay, they're a little bit wide for my pieces of cardstock here, so no biggie. I'm just going to grab my scissors and we're just going to trim off the excess parts and. There, we can just leave it like that. There we go. Ah, uh, no, this one's too long. You don't want your cardstock hanging off the edge. So let's get rid of those little pieces. And let's put the top plate on and we'll run this through the machine. There we go. Okay. Thumb on the bottom, hand on, and fingers on the top. My little yoga move. <laughs> My stamp and boss yoga. All right, let's get these off of the plates and we'll get started. Okay, so we're going to be doing a card. I'm calling it the gatefold with belly band card. Erica didn't give a name of this because it was a mystery card. So a mystery card means I got to come up with a name, right? So it's going to have a belly band. It's going to be a gatefold. So we'll see how this turns out. I haven't made this card. This one's purely in my mind. Um, but I think it, I think it'll be okay. Okay. So we'll set those off to the side. The first thing I'm going to do is bring in my Cajun craze, uh, card base. Okay. So it's a long card. So we're cutting the card stock, the long side here. We're going to cut it down to five and a half by 11. And along the long side, we're going to score it at one and a quarter, three and three eighths, seven and five eighths and then nine and three quarters don't worry this will be all, all on my blog don't worry and then when we score we're going to grab our cutting or no not our cutting our scoring tool our bone folder and we're going to reinforce all of these score lines forward and back forward and back you want to make sure you get good crisp um, score lines here all right, so here's this one. So these two pieces fold in, and then these pieces in front fold back. Isn't that fun? I love how this gatefold comes together. It's a little bit of a different gatefold with these little panels on the front. Isn't that interesting? So this is the structure of the card. So I'm going to bring in some designer series paper. I've got, look at this adorable pattern with the skeletons on it and the little skeleton animals. <laughs> the flip side of that, that one has this pattern on the back. Shape, they're kind of shaped like bats, um, but we're gonna use this side. And I'm just gonna add my glue, and we're gonna put these down. I had the best time last night, you guys. We had our team craft and, and chat. We got together on Zoom from 6.30 to 8.30. We chatted about everything. And <laughs> We giggled and laughed and, um, oh my goodness, people shared what they were working on. One of the girls on my team is working on an album, a baby album for a co not a baby, sorry, why did I, why did I say baby? It's a wedding, <laughs> a wedding album for a coworker and she shared with us the structure of the album. It's like a mini album, but oh my goodness, it is going to be so stunning when she's done. So it's so fun to craft with my team. You know, because we do team meeting, but there's always so many things to talk about on the team meeting. Um, it was nice to gather with them and just craft and chat. Okay, so we're putting these panels right here on the inside. So let me take a look here. So it's like this. So they're kind of in the background here. So that's where those little skeleton pat patterns go. Now the front here has these two panels. I'm going to bring in that amazing, amazing plaid pattern. You could use the tombstones if you wanted to, but I really want to bring in this awesome, I think this is Scream's Fall, but, and it doesn't scream Halloween, but I'm going to use it on a Halloween card. This is the plaid from Them Bones DSP, and these two pieces measure one and, and one and one eighth by five and three eighths. So we're just going to flip those over, and we're going to put some glue on, and we're going to put those down. I love this design that Erica came up with because it actually will allow you to use um, more than one piece of designer series paper. So if you've got a pack of DSP and you're like, I wanna use all the designs, well, this one will allow you to use, well, I'm gonna be using three, but you could even pull in more designs because you guys know the designer series paper always coordinates, right? 
you always get matching patterns that can be used together. So look how fun the plaid looks with that. I mean, you could put, you could also put designs on the inside, but no one's really going to see that, right? So we're just going to do the front panel like that. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and work on the inside now. So the inside of the card has a pumpkin pie panel and a, and a basic white panel. And I want to stamp this first be, before I put it down, because if I make a mistake, I can flip it over and get um, another chance to stamp, right? So for the inside of this card, we're going to stamp trick or treat on the front, but on the inside, I'm going to stamp the word eek. <laughs> I love that little eek. Now that word eek also fits in the um, tags. So if you want to do some little treat containers, you could totally use these tags, right? And put eek on the tag. That would be so fun. And maybe have the little ghosts like sticking out the background, like lots and lots of fun ideas with this bundle. Okay, so we're going to just grab that eek, pick it up with a block, and we're going to stamp that. I think I'll stamp that with Cajun craze, kind of keep the Cajun craze going here. So we'll stamp that on the inside in the middle like that. And then we're going to bring in um, Old Olive and, and Memento again. So my Old Olive, I'm going to use that for the Frankenstein face. So we're going to tap, tap on my scrap, on my ink pad. And you can do it full strength. Let's see what that looks like on my scrap. What did I do with my scrap? I think I put it back in my drawer. Okay, we'll grab it again. So the full strength is... It could be a little dark depending on how uh, well you've got your ink pad juiced up. So that's a little bit dark. Oh, there's holes on my thing. <laughs> okay, that's good. I want to show you this. You see on my little, my paper, there's like little holes. That's indentations in the paper. But look what it's done to the stamp. So if I stamp second generation here, I'm going to get those dark spots. So make sure when you do your first generation, you're stamping on, let's flip it over. You're stamping on a flat piece here. So let's put it on here. Here. Press, press, press. And then we're going to stamp this um, Frankenstein down here in the bottom of my, the bottom left hand corner of the inside of the card. Okay, so that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Now we're going to bring in his face. And I love it because he's got the little bolts coming out of the side of his head. He's got the stitching <laughs> across his forehead. He's just, and he's got the cutest little smile. So, really really super cute so we're going to stamp memento his face with memento and we're going to hover over the top of the of his head here Ooh, i just got enough room for the bolts look at that that's okay we're going to go with it all right so there's the inside nice little surprise on the inside and then i've got a piece of pumpkin pie so that's going to go on here like that so we'll grab our glue I mean, this is all about the stamps, right? This card, because it show. I'm going to be showing a lot of the different stamps because that's where it's at, right? With the stamps, the dies are pretty phenomenal too. Okay, so this is going on to my pumpkin pie layer. Now I'm going to go ahead and I've actually got another piece of DSP. Remember I said I was bringing in three designs? This one here has Cajun Craze, which is matching my color scheme going on here. We've got pumpkin pie, Cajun Craze, and black, basic black. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to this one and we're going to put that on the inside and it is the same length as my pumpkin pie by design by Erica's design her mystery stamping challenge and we're going to put that right here look at that oh my gosh it's so cute we're going to just straighten that up a little bit because you get a teeny tiny bit of wiggle room and mine was a bit a little bit crooked so let's fix that we'll fix this right here Okay, so then I'm going to flip it over, add more glue to the back, and we're going to put this on the inside of the card. And then I can close up the card and show you the belly band that I'm going to make. Okay, so we're kind of doing the card from the inside out here. So this is going to go right here. Look how fun that is. <laughs> I just love it. Okay, so on the inside, you can also bring in the bats and the ghost if you want to. Let's go ahead and do that. Why not? Right. I'm going to grab a couple of little blocks here and my stamp set. We've got ghosts and we've got bats here. Let's just do it all right. Put them all in there. This is a really special card. A fun fold is a special card, right? So we're going to just add our bats, put a couple of those up in the sky up here and we'll stamp our 
ghost. So for the ghost, I'm going to bring in pumpkin pie ink. I'm going to stamp off first so we get a half strength ghost. So let's stamp off right there and we'll put the ghost up in the sky with the bats. Oh my God. <laughs> so cute. I love it. I love it. Okay. So we're going to close this up now and I have a piece of pumpkin pie cardstock. It's one by 11 inches and we're going to wrap this around the card and you don't need to worry about scoring it. Just take your thumbs and line it up in the front and just gently wrap it around. And you really wanna be gentle. You don't wanna make this too tight because you don't want the person who receives the card to have to really pull on it and wreck the card to get it off, right? So we're just gonna like do a gentle bend around here, around the card like that. And then when you're happy with how it's sitting, now that needs a little bit more. Don't leave too much of a gap or it could, it'll be too too loose. So. You, you can, when you, when you go to do this card, you'll, you'll know what I mean. You, you want to make sure that it's on there good, but not too loose and not too tight. Okay. So I think that's pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up that flap. I'm just going to hold this down with my finger. I'm going to grab some glue and I'm going to put some glue on here. And then we can just go ahead and close that little band over here like that. And just hold it down for a few seconds. Just make sure that it adheres. I'm going to give the glue a chance to set up and then, you know what, actually you should probably do this from the back to the front because we're going to put, we have a nested label die, the, the second largest. And if I do that, let's, so let's take this off. We'll slide it off easy peasy. I'm going to flip it around because I want to see if maybe I can cover up my seam and I don't know if I can. Let's see. We'll slide that down like that. Now let's see if this die look at that you guys it's just going to cover up that seam okay so did you, did you see what i did there i um i'm covering up the seam so when you wrap your belly band around start from the back and come to the front and that way your nested label die will sit right there and cover it up and then you have no seams at the back okay okay so this piece here is going to be the front it's going to attach to the belly band so i'll just set my card off to the side we're going to work on this piece for a minute here so for this piece I already went ahead and uh, did a little bit of heat embossing. You guys know I love white embossing on black cardstock. This die set has an amazing label here. This one here, this die, kind of looks like an enlarged <laughs> acorn or something to me. If you <laughs> just the bump at the top here, but if you stamp your uh, trick or treat, put your with Versamark, and you put your white embossing powder on and you heat it up, you're going to get this shape when you cut it out. So I've already gone ahead and cut this out. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Now this is a die that can be used in all of your other paper crafting, right? You can make Christmas cards with this one. Same as the treat box. You can treat me, you can make all kinds of different treats, birthday, whatever you want. So this one is a standalone die that you can use with almost any greeting. So I've done it with black and white embossing. Hi, Debbie from Illinois. Hi, Debbie Guest. Thank you for joining me. So we're going to put this onto my label like that. But first, I'm going to add a little bit of sponging. I'm going to bring in pumpkin pie, and we're going to sponge the edges. I really like the look of sponged edges. And let me grab my pumpkin pie sponge. Hmm, what did I do with my pumpkin pie sponge? All right, got another one here on my desk I'll use. Okay, so we're just going to dip into the ink pad. We're going to hold the die in my hand, and I'm just going to come around here and sponge this with pumpkin pie. Now, you could also sponge it with basic gray and make it look kind of, you know, like a night sky, kind of like a dark. Um, or you, use, you could use basic gray. You could use gray granite. I'm just using pumpkin pie here for mine just to kind of um, just add an accent to the edges. These, I've seen many people use these dies to make coffins, which is perfect for Halloween. Um, but, so I'm using that one. And then I'm gonna put the trick or treat. Let's bring the card in. So this is gonna sit on the front. Let's move this to the center. This is gonna be positioned right here. The trick or treat is gonna be right there. And then we're gonna put the Dracula face up here. And I thought we would put the, um, what you call it? <laughs> 
<laughs> the haunted house down here. So we got like kind of all a cluster of images on the front of the card. So before I do all of that, I do want to add some ribbon and I love, absolutely love this black and white gingham. Now we have black and white gingham. This is from the annual catalog and I chose this one because I'm using white cardstock on this card. However, in the mini catalog, we have a new black uh, gingham. Let me show you. And it's vanilla, black and vanilla. So there's a new kid in town. So let me show you the difference. The vanilla is wider and it's vanilla, right? And then the white and black is narrower. So that's the difference in the ribbon. So if you're using vanilla cardstock, this one will be great. If you're using white, go with your other one. So I love gingham ribbon. I love the checkers. So it's so amazing. I think everybody needs these ones. And you can color these too with your blends. So if you wanted to color it pumpkin pie or Cajun craze, you could totally do that. Um, I'm just gonna come around here with my ribbon like that and grab my scissors, snip off the ends, and we're gonna come around and tie either a knot or a bow. We'll see how this goes. So here we go, we're wrapping around the belly band. And then I'm just gonna come over here and make a little, a little knot. And we're gonna go, and I think I can, I'm gonna try it. It's Friday, why not? <laughs> let's, let's try and make a bow on, on camera. Sometimes it doesn't always work out. Okay, so there, Oh, look at that. It worked. All right. So then we can leave the tails a little bit longer if you want to. I'm, I'm really happy with this bow. So we're just going to tighten the bows up a little bit. There we are. Okay. And snip the ends like that. And one more little snip over here like that. Okay. So there's the belly band with the, with the bow. And now I'm going to go ahead and put this um, the nested die right on top. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to grab my, di um, dimensionals. <laughs> I'm going to put one right here. It's actually going to touch the ribbon. So it's going to serve two purposes. It's going to touch the ribbon. It'll anchor it down and it's going to be my pop-up for my nested, uh, essential nested essential die. I'm going to put one at the bottom. So we're using four dimensionals. This is the moving part of the card, right? So you want to make sure it's anchored down good. So then I'll just go ahead and peel off all the backing like so, and that should be good. That should be good to anchor down my nested die. So we'll come in here and we'll center it. So I'm going to move the band to the center and we'll center up this nested die like so. There we go. Okay. So now is this the fun part? We're going to decorate. We're going to put the trick or treat here. We'll put the um, haunted house there and we'll put our Dracula up here. But there's still some white space going on in here that I kind of want to fill in. So now we can come in with the bats and we can fill in our uh, pieces. Now I probably should have done that before I had it on the card, but let's take the belly band off so we don't have so many layers that we're trying to stamp through. And we'll grab Memento. And I'm just gonna try and stamp. <laughs> this is not ideal. You should really stamp before you put stuff together, but we're gonna go with it. We're gonna add bats right here. Ooh, okay, that worked. Let's add another set of bats down here and let's do one up here and let's see how that's going to look. So trick or treat, my Dracula, and then my haunted house. Yep, that's pretty good. Okay, so I want to bring in that cute little ghost. I cannot leave him behind. He's so stinking cute. I'm going to stamp a couple of maybe one or two ghosts. So I'm going to grab my pumpkin pie off to the side of my screen here stamp off on my scrap paper. Let's put a ghost right here. Maybe one ghost is enough. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we got a lot going on here. I think that's good. Okay. So let's put the lid on my ink pad, move my inks off to the side and my stamps. Oh my goodness. So cute. All right. So I think I've been thinking about this. Should I put dimensionals, but I think I'm actually just going to use glue because glue is super strong. I've got enough layers going on here with the card. We've got like one, two, three, four layers. And then we've got the folds and then the folds in the front. And then we've got the belly band and that's on dimensionals, the nested essentials on dimensionals. So I really think I'm just going to use liquid glue, put a little bit here, and then I'm going to put my trick or treat like that, hold it down. And same thing, I'll put my glue where I want my image to be. Because if I put it on the image, it's really hard to know where do you put your glue, right? Because if you put too much glue, you're going to be sticking it onto the, the base of the card. 
And you don't want that. I mean, you've spent so much time making a card, you don't want it to be glued shut, right? You want the recipient to be able to remove the belly band and get to the inside of the card. <laughs> oh my goodness, so cute. All right, so there's my little Dracula face and the um, haunted house. It says trick or treat. And then we're just gonna take that and you know, I really think if you're a fan of giving gift cards, you could give like a McDonald's gift card or something like that. Something where they could go get a treat, maybe a candy store or something like that. Or you could give, um, you know, a bookstore card, right? If your child's into books, maybe you don't want to give treats on, on Halloween. You could give them a little gift card. And I really think a gift card would fit it over on this side here. Do I have a gift card in my drawer? My drawer? I'm just going to see. If I have one for size, I think this would probably be like a gift card. Mm, no, that's a, like a hotel card or something. <laughs> okay, but you could use something like this. This is um, a candy card. Like you could probably put something like that on the inside, but you use your imagination. <laughs> so this is going to go like that. And then we're just going to slip this over the top. Make sure you got all your pieces folded in, put your belly band back on, and there we have it. Now, to put the bling on this, because we still need some bling on here, we're going to grab, what should we grab? Let's see. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good morning, everyone. I'm, I'm going to come back and get your comments, I promise. <laughs> oh, the embellishments that we're going to grab are the glow-in-the-dark um, bats and... Uh, and ghosts, if I can get the packaging open here. So I had to get my friend Bonnie, who's on my team, to give me some of these until my order comes in because I ran out. All I had left were some ghosts. So she, this is the beauty of being on a team. She helped me out. She gave me this little section and I'll pay her back <laughs> when mine come in. So we're going to grab uh, uh, these. These are glow in the dark. So let's put a ghost up here on the black so it'll stand out. You probably won't see it very well if you put it on the white. So we'll put a ghost right there. How about we grab a couple of bats? We'll put one over here and we'll put one down here. How fun is that, you guys? Love it. I wish, I, I wish it was dark here and I could turn the lights off and you could see that these actually do they do glow up in the dark <laughs> so there we have it my friends this is my fun fold friday card gatefold with a with a belly band so i hope you guys like this one <laughs> i see your hearts thank you so much <laughs> i loved getting new folds too mary there are so many different folds you can do and it's just like it's so fun and this one can be made into any type of card i just did a halloween card but Look at that. You can see it glowing. Can you see the glow? <laughs> very, very much so. And the kids will love, well, who am I saying? Kids, adults will love this, right? So you take that off and then can just lay it off to the side like that. And then you open up and there's your surprise. Oh my gosh. I love it. And there's another bat and another bat. Okay. <laughs> there we go, you guys. Thank you so much for being with me today. Um, let me do a little recap. So this is Friday. I'll put the belly band back on. Let's, let's do a little recap of this week in case you missed any of the cards. Oh, there's the nested essentials dies in case you missed it. These are the dies I used. I used the second largest to do my background here. Okay, so that's what I used on this card. Yesterday, let's start with Monday. Let's go back to Monday. Monday, I did the, it was the Global Design Project Challenge and I shared with you guys, oh, that one, that one needs to be uh, fixed. The ribbon is hanging off. Let's just show you a different one. Um, global design project challenge. And I shared with you guys that they invited me to be a designer with them. So I'm super excited about that. This was the challenge was Cajun craze, pumpkin pie and basic black. So that was my card for Monday, Tuesday. We played with the designer series paper and let it do the talking this one here with the tombstones in the background. And there's that ghost and the boo, this die is in the set. So this was Tuesday and it opens like this. Look at that. And we transferred some of the paper on the inside there. So that was Tuesday. Wednesday, we played with candy corn and I made this fun card here showcasing the dies that make candy corn. That was Wednesday. Thursday, we played with the boo again and made some shiny with the packing tape. We made a shiny boo. And today is Friday. And we made our fun fold cards. So those are our cards 
if you are interested in getting a package, I choose four of these based on my supplies. So it's a surprise which four you will get. But when you place a, um, an order with me by midnight on Sunday, I'm going to send you four of these card packages. You'll get all of the cut pieces. You will need to provide your own stamps. So you will need the, um, the trick or treats stamps to be able to cut the to be able to do these and you'll also need the dies because I give you the scrap paper I will give you a piece of pumpkin pie daffodil delight like those pieces so that so you will need the entire bundle to complete these cards um, but you should be able to get this bundle in time for Halloween and be able to make these cards I send you the de designer series paper the bling the cardstock and you supply the ink and the stamps and the dies to cut out the little pieces okay uh, the dies that I do send you are the ones that are not included in the bundle. So this background for the boo and the circle behind this Dracula and the nested frames, I do send you those, okay, because they are not included in the Tricks and Treats bundle. So the feature of the week is the Tricks and Treats bundle, okay? So you should grab that, save your 10%. Thank you, Jen. Jen's posted the, co the code 162226, and I would love to get these off to you. Um, so midnight on Sunday, this is when the week, weekly deals end. And then next week I'll be moving on to new products. All right. Let me flip you around here. Ooh, bear with me. <laughs> Thank you all for joining me for fun fold Friday. I had a blast making this card. Look at that. Look at that little ghost. He's just glowing in green there. He's just so happy to be on camera. Look at that. <laughs> this was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy making this one at home. Take care, everybody. Have a fantastic weekend, and I'll come back and read your comments. And if you have questions for me, please reach out. I'd be happy to answer them. Jen has posted things about, I see a Boho Blue limited edition. Yep. Grab your Boho Blue mini. It's a great little mini. If you have grandchildren or, you know, and someone that comes to stamp with you, that's a cute little machine for them to use, right, to cut out things. Stamp and boss yoga. Yeah, that's what I do with my thumb. I hold the plates and then, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Yes, the PDF will be up a little later today. And um, I hope you have fun making this card. Take care. And I'd love it for, for you to share with me. What, do you, what will you make with this style of card with the belly band? Take care, everybody. Have a fantastic weekend. And I'll see you on Monday morning. Bye-bye.